Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsfile.com. Today's topic is an interesting topic, how hand scrubs discovered crop cycle. In the last video we discussed about eight steps of crop cycle and I was very curious to find out how he discovered this pathway. I would like to share a five minute summary of the experiment. First of all, let's begin with an interesting fact. Krups submitted his work or paper to the journal Nature, as you all know, one of the most reputed journals in biological sciences in 1937. And Nature rejected his paper, citing that there were many submissions that is to be reviewed. So even without reviewing, Nature rejected the paper. And that work eventually got Nobel Prize in 1953. Hans Krupp was a German-born biologist and he moved to England as a Jewish refugee during Hitler's time. He joined the University of Sheffield and this was the title of his paper, The Role of Citric Acid in Intermediate Metabolism in Animal Tissues. He published this paper along with his student William Johnson from the Department of Pharmacology, University of Sheffield. He published that article in the journal a Dutch journal, Enzymology, in 1937. What was the knowledge about cellular respiration in 1930s? It was known that during cellular respiration, oxygen is used and carbon dioxide is released and the process is responsible for synthesizing energy or ATP that drives all activities of the cell. This is known. Glycolysis is known by 1930. So this is a citric acid cycle and this part is not known how pyruvate is connected to citrate, uh, this isocitrate, alpha ketoglutarate, succinyl coa succinate, etc. These intermediates are known. There were many publications citing these intermediates in cellular respiration, but often considered these as a linear pathway or not clear about the order of the reaction. So this was the primary question for Hans Krebs. How to link the pyruvate to citrate? So how to link the glycolysis to the next step? Now we know that it is a citric acid cycle. The experimental model was PGN breast muscle, which is a powerful muscle necessary for flight. At that time, many experiments on cellular respiration used this model. And this was the methodology followed. Krupp used tissue slices, then spectrophotometry and manometry. Manometer is a way to precisely measure gases consumed and produced by living cells. He learned this technique from his mentor, the famous enzymologist Otto Warburg, and he often credits Otto Warburg and his mentorship for all his accomplishments or even this discovery of Krupp cycle. He learned all these techniques from Warburg's laboratory in Germany. The main technique he used is this manometry and he's standing near to his beloved apparatus, Warburg apparatus. Using this simple apparatus, he discovered the whole pathway. Then what was the discovery? First, along with William Johnson, they made citrate, a C6 compound, by feeding oxaloacetate to the cell, which is a C4 compound. So they could connect these two, oxaloacetate is used to form citrate. Then from where the two other two carbon comes from? That was the question. So oxaloacetate is a C4 compound and citrate is a C6 compound. And this was the hypothesis. From glycolysis, pyruvate is formed as the end product that was known. So pyruvate contributes the carbon to oxaloacetate for the formation of citrate. So how pyruvate, which is a three carbon compound, contributes to carbon during this process that was not known. So by conducting many experiments, they confirmed that pyruvate is responsible for the formation of citrate by providing carbon atoms in the reaction. This is not known. The involvement of acetyl coenzyme A is not known. Which is that two carbon compound, the intermediate that connects glycolysis, citric acid cycle? That was not known. Later, Fritz Lippmann discovers coenzyme A and its role in oxidation of pyruvate. Later, the compound involved 
was found to be acetylcholine same A, which is a two-carbon compound that reacts with oxaloacetate, forming citrate. Krebs could make alpha ketoglutarate, succinyl coa succinate all from oxaloacetate. And he proposed a cyclic pathway that connects glycolysis to the Krebs cycle or the citric acid cycle. At that time, it was called the citric acid cycle as the first stable compound was citrate in the pathway. So now we know that this is what is happening. Pyruvate is converted to acetyl coenzyme A and the role of coenzyme A was discovered by Fritz Lippmann and the enzyme involved is pyruvate dehydrogenase. For that discovery, Fritz Lippmann along with Hans Krupp got Nobel Prize in 1953. And thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.